Welcome back, my Planet Coaster friends. Johnny Five Alive here, and we are back with another episode of Yeti Land. And in today's episode, we're going to be building Darla the Coaster Station because she needs a station to really complete where we are. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, so this one's going to be a really quick one today. Um, probably my shortest episode yet, just under 15 minutes. Uh, there was, I didn't really feel the need to tie in anymore because we get to build the station front to back and there we go. Call it a day. Um, so this is at six times speed. We're going to make it a little bit easier on the eyes today. Uh, we have less footage, so might as well slow it down. So um, yeah, we're building Darla, the station outside. I built the same torque station, same length. Uh, put the entrance and exit in the same spots sort of Excuse me sort of like a uh, replica so that I could Essentially build it outside Without having the cave walls in my way and then we'll Afterwards mold the cave walls around the station So I wasn't really concerned if it was too big or too small. I'd figure I'll change the terrain to fit my needs so I figured I want to make the station the way I want to make it, and I had no idea how I was going to approach this. I, as you, well, you guys are seeing what I'm doing here. There was no, there's no practice. There was no premeditation. It just I decided to grab the supports that we used for the entire um, supports, the custom supports that we built for Darla in the last episode. I decided to use those same styles to go with the interior of the station platform. Um, and here I am just wedging it in. It's pretty bl bland and basic right now. Um, I probably should have done my decorating. Eh, I mean, it, my thought process was I'll, I'll decorate it once I'm inside. So I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And I wanted to see how it fit and how the terrain looked in it. And then, because most of the decorating is going to be lighting and signs and stuff. So I kind of wanted to get a feel for how it looked and felt inside. So, um... The, the, the structure there, it's kind of similar to the uh, Yeti station, as well as the supports. It's a mixture between the two, adds a little bit of cohesion between our Yeti station, um, our, our train station, sorry, and then our coaster Darla station and our coaster Darla supports. So it all kind of blends together. It's all in the same area. They're all similar looking. Now, while this one looks very plain right now, I assure you it'll look a lot different by the end of it. Um, nothing a little bit of lighting can't fix um, and some decorations. So I'm just pushing out the cave walls a little bit because I want this kind of like cagey feel to it. Um, almost like you're in some sort of Yeti cage. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks and um, just trying to deform the terrain enough so the inside is wide and the entrance the the mouth I should say the mouth of the station I wanted to be somewhat open um, so you can you can see all the work that went into this well it wasn't much work at all it was pretty simple um, but technically it looks like somebody built it and there's a bunch of work that got into it, it was simple for me but at the end of the day it looks like something and I wanted you to be able to see that something so um, just going to do a little bit of terrain painting around the inside and stuff like that. Get some, uh, some rock depth in there. I also thought it might be cool to paint this a little bit while I'm at it. So as you're coming up, it looks a little bit like frozen over as you're getting more closer towards the exterior where the snow would be. It's a little bit more frozen over. And so as you're coming up that lift, it feels a little bit more interesting. So, um pretty much done with this. I think I deleted here. No, I'm trying to figure out what kind of a sign would work. So I'm playing around with the signs and this was an experimentation process. I didn't know which one would work. Um, at first I was thinking, you know, like use the wooden sign because that's what we used on the Yeti station. However, this is a coaster. Um, it, it needs to like the sign you need, it needs to be read from a far distance. So we have this theme going on with that blue castle in the background and, you know, the blue lights on our Darla coaster. 
um, it all needs to tie together. So that one was the one I was happy with, and you can read it from a distance. Now, when you bring it into this dark cave, uh, something happens kind of strange with the, um, the global illumination in this game, where it changes the color, the saturation value of signs based off of how light, little light there is or how much light there is. So it's a little bit strange. What you see there is a dark blue, but it's actually really like a, a, a almost like a blackish blue. So a um, little bit of a strange issue with the engine there, I would have to say, how it renders the lighting. Um, maybe they need to change the material on the sign to ignore shadows. I think that would be a little bit better because the sign is self-illuminated and it, it really shouldn't take in other colors. It should be the pure color. So that's just my opinion on it and I think they need to look into their materials a little bit better, their shaders. Um, so yeah, we're just going to light this thing up nice and blue. We're going to use different color blues. So I have a nice dark blue that we've used in all the other areas of Yeti Land. And then as I go closer and closer to the top, I figured it'd be cool to make it a little bit lighter and lighter, almost to a white, a whitish blue. And um, I thought that looked kind of cool. It gives it a little bit of something interesting to look at as you're coming up the lift. You're kind of going up this cave that's this, it's getting a little bit snowier as you get up. It's getting icier as you get up. And then, you know, the colors of the lights are also changing with that. So just something to make the interior of the lift a little bit more interesting. Um, I wanted to also use these uh, blue-white Christmas lights that we've used everywhere else. Mama Yeti has them, Frank has them, um, Darla should have them as well. So it's kind of like a running theme in the family, and Darla is one of the family members. So um, I had a problem here. It wasn't in the group, and then I tried to get it in the group. It was a pain in the butt, but you don't really notice it on six times speed. Um, so yeah, I just want to run the Christmas lights around a few key spots at the back there on the main supports on the front there at the main supports and then I decided I think to put some around the sides didn't quite feel like enough for me. So I wanted to put them on the sides here as well. I want this really to be I icy matching our icy frosty feel our mystical feel that we got going across Yeti land but I also want it to be somewhat girly. Um, we got Dar uh, Betsy, who's uh, kind of girly. Well, she's she's Mama Yeti, but she's got some girly features um, with the bows and different things like that. We want Dar a Darla to be kind of girly as well. So I think the little pretty lights really help that. And then I wanted to go a little bit further. So I was looking for different lanterns and I was trying to see what was working. I wanted to try the orange because um, we have the orange at the station. Uh, blue and orange are complementary colors. It works really well, but it also so it added a little bit too much masculinity to it. The orange, it's a little bit too aggressive, and we want this to be a little bit lighter and more, I guess, feminine uh, or just pretty in general. I, I don't, I don't know if those are the right words. Um, so I figured these kind of like starry lights would kind of add like a little bit of a, a sparkle slash sheen glimmer to help help make it feel a little bit prettier in here and then these blue mushroom lights are some of my favorite lights in the game they have a very ornate um pretty design to them and they also match really well with our frosty theme and we've also used them on our yeti train station um, so they work both in both scenarios they work work well in both scenarios and um they look really good here. They also add a little bit of that prettiness to it. Um, and then I felt another final touch would be to add more variations of blue into the cave, just to give a little bit of contrast. So it's not just this um, flooded dark blue. We want little bits of the rocks to shine and light up a little bit lighter in some areas and a little bit darker in other areas. So it gives us a contrast going through there, um, which breaks up the the monotony of just the plain flood blue. So um, just a little bit of touches on the front. That's where you come in. That's the queue and the exit. They're both right there. So we'll have the queue wrapping around the cave a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll decorate that in the future just a tiny bit. I don't know. Um, 
we'll have to see when we get there. However, it, the station itself, it looks pretty good like this, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, we might put some Yetis inside the cage later or something, I'm not quite sure. Here's a look at it in real time, coming in on the coaster. So this is what you see at the end of the ride. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is when you're starting the ride, you don't actually see Darla. So you don't, it's kind of like introduced to you at the end, which is a little bit strange. Nonetheless, I think it looks great because when you're when you're done the experience, it's like Darla. Like it it's it hits at it home. It's like this is what you just experienced is Darla. So it almost I, I kind of like that telling this the telling that part of the story at the end. You go off and you experience this amazing coaster and this amazing journey with all the custom supports and you know, triggered lights following you across the whole track. And then when you get to the end, it says Darla. It's letting you know that's what you just experienced. So I kind of like savoring the name till the end. I don't know. It, and I didn't really plan for that. It just happened. So that's what's that's the best thing about creativity. So here we're just like, I didn't do this in the last episode. I showed you guys the lighting and the I got, I'll let you guys ride it. But I really wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the triggered events at nighttime and the custom wooden supports. So I have a bit of footage in real time here and it's just like the coasters are just zipping around the track and you get to see the lights. And here I'm actually going to follow one of the coasters I believe. So um, is this the one I follow? I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna watch the lights and the coaster zip across the track. And I really love the way the track glows with that bright, bright blue, and it has that mystical sheen to it as it's just zipping along the track. Um, looks really cool. So now we get a kind of like a a bird's eye view of all the supports and the lights going across the track. And we're just going to follow the coaster around to the very end. And then that's going to be the end of the episode. So there's only about a minute left of footage or so until this coaster gets to the station. Um, I love that pretzel loop right there on the right, what it was doing there. It's going through and the just it brights, it lights up so brightly and you can see it from anywhere on the map. And um, it's almost like these little blue fireflies just whizzing around the sky and when you're zoomed out really far it looks pretty magical so i did not expect this to be what it is today guys and i said this in the last episode that it's you know you guys help shape it up to way the way it is now anyways we're at the end of the episode so um that's gonna do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster content. And let me know what you guys think of Darla the Station down in the comments below. Alright everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now!